Alright, now we've come to the third and final code. Get up close and just barely see through there. There we go. There you go. We are as blacked out as you want to be with these things. You do not want to go any darker than three coats. I don't know if you can tell, but so that's three. This is two. All right, we're gonna start the clear coat in about 10 minutes. All right, these headlights have two coats, maybe even three, I don't remember, of paint. So that's what you're looking at. There's your eyebrows. Now we're gonna start the clear coat. Now you don't have to clear coat. The only thing you can clear coating for is to help protect nightshades from scratches and stuff. Fingerprints, and so it's easier to wash without scratching the nightshades. I recommend at least three to four coats. So I'm going to do it the exact same way. Except I'm not going to video it. I'll video it the first time, but that's it. Don't worry if you see little bumps, if you see tiny runs if you see little specks of lint because in the final step of sanding and buffing it'll take all that out and it'll look like glass so again give it a couple squirts so it's coming out good and same way There you go. Once you start clear coating, it's going to look kind of orange peeled, which is hard to pick up on this, but the final step will take care of that. If you want, if you're scared, before you start clear coating, you can go ahead and sand them the way we did before, dry them off, and start clear coating. But if you're like me, you just go for it. We don't have time to waste here, just go for it. Alright, we'll be back for the final steps. Alright, final couple steps. You need your lights, dish soap, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, a microfiber uh, cloth for applying wax, well, in this case, the compound, 2000 grit wet sandpaper and a microfiber cloth. So you're going to put a little bit of soap on the sandpaper, obviously get it wet in the sink, sand very lightly like we did in the beginning and until it's you know all cloudy looking. Don't sand too hard. You don't want to sand through all the clear coat. So I'm going to try to do that while videoing, it might be kind of hard. Nah. You're really not going to be able to see me do this. So I'll be back after I do the first one. Alright, I'm going to try to video this. Water. 
wet your sandpaper. Splash of soap. Your lights. Just sprinkle some water on there. Get them wet. Nice and easy, same direction. Not putting any pressure on right now. Just trying to wet the light. Alright, sorry it stopped, but I'm running out of space here. So after it's sanded, it's kind of hard to see, but it's going to be all smoky looking. It's going to look all dull. And it's going to be nice and smooth, just the way you want it. And we'll go to the final step in a minute. Take some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Put it onto the applicator. Nice generous amount. Gonna take your light. Nice and easily smear it all over until it's all coated. Alright, once you get to this part, you're gonna go crazy. You're gonna take this. You can pretend it's a lonely Friday night. You're just gonna get after it. Stop, stop rubbing it as hard as you can. Put all the pressure you can onto it. Rub it, get it good, good. Come on, all you lonely guys, like a Friday night. Come on, you used to rubbing it. Really want to try to burn it in there. All right, after about 20 seconds or so, you want to take a microfiber polishing cloth. Make sure it's microfiber, or else it'll scratch. You're just going to take it and just wipe off what you just put on there. If you see any areas that are still cloudy, all you want to do is put more compound on and work it out. If you don't think you sanded it right, you can re-sand it at this point and just polish it again. Alright, once you do, it's going to be nice, shiny, and glass-like. Perfect. And that is how you tint your taillights, or tint anything really. That's it. Enjoy.